you know that feeling you get when you're applying for jobs and no one's getting back to you and you're like, oh, like, is it my CV or is it something else or is it just the way I smell? But they can't tell because they can't see me and no one's replying. What's happening? Yeah, so this video is about that. So recently, a friend of mine reached out to me who watches my videos. Shout out, Mark. And he said to me, dude, uh, I am applying for jobs. Nobody's getting back to me. Is it my CV? Is something happening? And um, he was like, look, I will give you money if you can just fix my problem. And I was like, ah, that's so interesting because loads of people have this problem. So you're sending out, job sending out applications, sending out applications. No one's getting back to you and you start to get into this kind of thought bubble because looking for jobs is really lonely, right? Because there's literally just you looking for a job. Uh, you know, you can talk to people about it, but they'll be like, ah, just keep going. Like if somebody loves you, they're not going to turn around and go like, ah, oh, you should just give up. You're probably never going to get a job ever. So yeah, just stop. But you don't get any sort of useful feedback. Um, you know, people love you. So you're sending out these CVs and nothing's happening. And when I spoke to Mark, he was like, look, I have sent out 150 CVs. I have got one reply. So that's like point, I don't know, 66% um, closing rate. And if I was Mark, if that was me, I'd get really fucking depressed. Because I'd be like, what the fuck? Now, luckily, he's already in a job, and that's fantastic. And he's making a bit of a career change. But this, this kind of brought to mind some really interesting questions that come up time and time again. So this is kind of a way to think about, is it your CV? Is what you're doing right? What's kind of a good success ratio? Based upon my experience, no science was hurt in the making of this video. So this is just based upon me observing and helping thousands of people uh, directly and indirectly over the last 11 years. So he's sending this out. So I'm like, right, um, first of all, this is way too low, right? So ultimately, if you're sending out CVs, uh, it, it's got to be in a targeted way. So I would hope for, like... Uh, I'd say 1 in 10 to 20, right? So 5 to 10% uh, hit rate. And what I mean by hit rate is basically um, people getting back to you. Now, I'm sure there's going to be loads of people watching this video screaming, going, you're lying, this is a scam, even though you're watching the video for free. It's just like, this is bullshit. Let me explain. Okay. So when Mark had laid all this out, and it's really important, you know, I was talking to him on the phone, I was on the way to Crav, and I was like, right, so how are you applying for these jobs? And this is really important. Um, so I was like, how? So you're sending out all of these jobs. And he was like, oh, I apply through Indeed. And I was like, okay, this is starting to make a bit more sense. Now, the reason being is, and this is a really important thing to remember in many different facets of your life. If it's easy for you, it's easy for everyone else. And if it's easy for everyone else, it's really fucking hard for you. So Indeed, LinkedIn, all of these, uh, what are essentially like job search engines, right? Make it super easy for people to apply for jobs. What does that mean? So say a job gets advertised on LinkedIn and then within about five minutes, 6,000 people apply. Why? Um, because they've got one click apply, because they all get notified, and it doesn't matter how good you are, it's really hard to stand out from 6,000 people. Think about it from the other perspective. So you're some guy who's put a job on LinkedIn and you then get 6,000 applications. Now, are you honestly gonna go through all of those applications? No, you're just gonna go through the ones that LinkedIn, Indeed, whatever application tracking system nominates as being the best applicants. Whether that be by recency, 
or whether that be by some sort of algorithm where they're matching for the job description. Now, we don't know individually because, of course, that's privileged information. But the point of the matter is, is that it's not about you not being good, right? It's about the fact that you're having to compete with 6,000 other people. I don't care how good you are. Just to get noticed is going to be difficult because you're all doing the same thing. You all submit, you've got 6,000 people submitting a piece of paper digitally. How are you going to stand out with that, right? So, this all of a sudden begins to make sense. Why he's got such a low response rate. Because he's applying for Indeed, he's applying through LinkedIn. So it's like, dude, where's your, what's your plan? Now, this is a really good next stage to get to so cv so i'm talking about i'll leave that up like that five ten to ten percent success rate right now the point is what's the plan seriously like what's your plan um what's your plan now when i spoke to mark on the phone i was like look because he's trying to explain it and that's the thing, I've had the conversation so many times with people like, I really want to do the job and I really want to do this and I really want to do that. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's great. The market doesn't give a shit. The market does not care how you feel. The market cares about the facts, right? And the fact is, if your scattergun approach to applying for jobs and just doing fucking whatever, like, oh, I'll be, I'll be a porter, I'll be a kitchen chef, I'm going to be an emergency nurse. Like, dude, you're not going to make any progress. And importantly, it's going to crush your self-esteem. Like, it's so difficult to just get rejection after rejection. Or just people stop getting back to you because you start to think, what's the fucking point? What is the point of me even doing this? Oh, I might as well just give up, right? And then you give up. So what's your plan? So an application plan... You can find this. This is in Application Success Secrets free down below. You nominate 50 companies, roles, and most importantly, the company URL, right? Don't go through Indeed and LinkedIn. Be one of the clever people who has watched one of my videos or just doesn't use uh, job search engines. Just apply for the company directly. They'll prefer it because it's just easier for them to sort through people. So instead of going, essentially, stop blaming other people for the fact that you're shortcutting your laziness, right? Your laziness drives you to LinkedIn because you can't be bothered to make a plan, to look for the jobs, to find the URL, to go and apply for the jobs directly. And then you're upset because LinkedIn then doesn't give you a job, right? So... Don't think that technology is actually helping you. It's just helping people to be lazier. So therefore, by shortcutting this, and then you can do all the good stuff. Then, if you start doing this, this is why you start to get 1 in 10, 1 in 20, right? Because you're much more targeted. You're not applying for 20, 30, 40 companies a week. You can't. Because you're trying to do quality over quantity. And guaranteed, right? Quality wins quality will beat quantity any day of the week right and i've seen that time and time again for over 10 years and people be like no but uh, what about blue or you know what about that guy who i read on shut the fuck up i read on the internet like no just you can't create quantity if you're you haven't been able to create quality Right, if you're just churning out a load of shit in quantity, that is not good. Sending loads and loads of one-click applications is not good. Now, you didn't know any better, right? So that's not, you want to do the work. But if you sit there and craft some quality applications, then you're going to see movement. Then you're going to start to see more people getting back to you. Why? Because you actually put in the work, yeah? Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Fuck, I forgot to say, like and subscribe. I meant to be saying that at the start of the videos. Um, drop me a comment down below. It lets me know that you like the videos and you want more of these. Um, yeah, bye.